Okay, so this little video is going to be about um, how to graph lines kind of quickly. And lines, you know, in algebra we call them linear. Linear means a straight line. And these graphs always have a pattern. Every rule for a line, every equation, is in the form y equals mx plus b. And m and b, these are numbers. And you got to figure out what the numbers are and what do they mean. m stands for the growth. And B is called, it's called figure zero in the tile pattern, or we sometimes just call it the y-intercept. And if you can figure out these two numbers, you can graph a line really quickly, actually. So like down below here, you see we have our first graph. Let's imagine, we'll call this example one. Let's say we had the rule y equals, how about 2x minus 3. If that's our rule, you can see the M and the B right away. Here's M, here's B. And to graph, you always start with the B. So you see how it's a minus 3? That tells you on the y-axis that you're going to start at minus 3. So you're going to start down here. That's where B goes. I'm going to label this B. M, M's 2. 2 tells you how to grow. It, it tells you that once you get your starting point, down here, you're going to be going up 2. So if m is 2, I'm going to go 1, 2, over 1, and I'm going to put a dot. And then you kind of continue that pattern, up 2, 1, 2, over 1. Up 2, 1, 2, over 1. And you do that a few times until you get like 3 or 4 points that can make a good line. You don't have to do it over and over forever. Just enough to see the pattern and draw the line. So put some arrows on the end of this thing. You can also add some extra labels. There's something called a growth triangle we've been working on. It looks like this. You take two points, any two points you want, on the line and connect them with this triangle. The triangle matches the growth, the two. We went up two squares and over one. In some books and in, some, in most algebra classes, you're going to hear this called the rise over run. We rose up two and we went over one. So we say the rise over run equals 2 over 1, which is what we did. Now, 2 over 1 is a fraction. In fact, 2 divided by 1, because that's what a fraction means, equals 2. That's our m. So our m always matches up with this rise over run. So imagine we have this second graph over here, and we get a rule, an equation, that is y equals, how about, negative 1 third x plus 5. Okay, this one's a little more complex, but still doable. We can see our m and our b. b is a plus 5. That's where we're going to start. So we're going to go over here and count up to 5 on the y-axis, and that is our starting point. There's our b. Negative 1 third, that's our m. That's our rise over run. So let's write a little note over here. If it's rise over run, our rise is negative 1 over 3. The negative's telling us that we're actually not really rising, we're dropping, we're going down. It means the pattern is shrinking. So we're going to start at 5 and count down 1 and run 3. So down 1 over 3. 1, 2, 3. Down 1 over 3. 1, 2, 3. Always go to the right when, you, when you're doing your run. So it looks like this. And I can add some arrows to my line. And let's do what we did on the last problem. Remember we made a growth triangle over here? Let's make a growth triangle. I'm going to use these two points. You can pick any points you want. But we're going to symbolize what we did here. We went down one, so we subtracted one, dropped down, and over one, two, three. So there's our growth triangle. And you can see how quickly we did two graphs just like that. As long as you know the M and the B, graphing can be pretty speedy. If, for instance, we had another example where the rule was Y equals 2 thirds X, and that's all it looked like. Well, then we're going to notice that 2 thirds, that's the number with the X. That's the M. But if I asked you what the B is, there is no b. b is basically 0. 
So when you go to make this graph, and I don't have a graph set up here, this graph, so I'll make this one quickly, it's going to start at 0, at the center of the graph. In algebra, we call the center the origin. So since b is not even here, we start right in the middle, right there. And then 2 thirds, that's our rise and our run. So we're going to go up 2, 1, 2, over 3, 1, 2, 3, up 2, over 3, 1, 2, 3, to make our line. And then I'll line these points up, connect them with my ruler, draw an arrow. It's looking pretty good. I can make a tr growth triangle. It's going to show that it went over 3 squares and up 2. And that is how you graph a line quickly without needing a table.